Hi, welcome to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. Now as it's um, approaching these really cold winter months, November, December time now, uh, I'm just starting to collect a few of these mowers up and uh, just store them in my garage. So I thought I'd just do a quick video, we can take a look inside and just see uh, what we've got so far. As you know I've had a bit of a tidy up. So as you can see I'm gradually beginning to collect a few of these up to do over the winter months. And as I've said before a lot of times, this is the very best time to be buying these mowers because you can get people who are moving house, for example, who are, you know, they don't want the lawnmower, they may be moving to a flat or whatever the circumstances may be, and they still need to sell these things, and I'm picking these up for £20-25. Um, I mean this one over here actually was £60, this is a, a, a multi-clip Briggs and Stratton one, there's no box, it just clips the grass, basically beds it back in, that was £60, I've used that, that works perfect. I've got another one, I can't remember exactly what I paid for these, something like 50, 55 pounds, but this is a, you know, it's a self-propelled lawnmower, this one, it drives itself, it's got a five and a half horsepower Honda engine on, and that's an absolutely cracking lawnmower, that'll, uh, with a bit of uh, clean, tidy and open uh, service, I reckon that'll fetch about 150 pounds next summer, as you can see here, some of the paints just begin to come off as well, so I'll give that a, I'll give that a paint with some of this up here, obviously, uh, this hammerite metal paint does a good job of that. It's a very similar colour to that, that deck there and that one there. That's got the uh, pull cord missing off it. That's the reason he's uh, sold that one. The rest of it looks alright. I've had a look round it. So I'll put a pull cord on there and I'll try that up. But the paint's great for those decks. These two are very similar colour. You can soon uh, basically paint over a few bits of that and make it look like new once you've spent a bit of time. I've got another one here that uh, I think the fu the fuel's just gone stale and I think he's had it stood outside, it might have water in. Now, I've not started on these two yet, but as I said, the other one runs great, so... Just thought I'd film a video, because I do want people to, you know, hopefully get started doing this. I actually had an email from, um, I get a lot of emails from people saying they can't find any to buy, and I get all sorts of, really, just negativity. But I had a nice email this week from a, a guy who's been uh, struggling with his, his health recently, a little bit, saying he can only do it on certain days, and this has provided him... Uh, an outlet and something to do while he's at home. If he feels well enough he can actually get up um, and give this a go. So that was uh, quite a nice email to receive. I wish there was a few more people like that as well. And I'm getting a lot of emails back from a lot of people who are making quite a good uh, quite a good profit out of this little small business I've started from home. So while I'm in the garage I just thought I'd um, mention I'm, I'm going to produce an, another DVD over these winter months. For the, the number one question I have of everybody who gets in contact with me is where can I buy more of the mowers? Where can I pick these up from? The, obviously, everybody really knows about eBay and trying to get them in your local area, but uh, when you've done this a while now, as I have, I, I've got lots and lots of resources for picking up mowers from all sorts of different places. Um, and an awful lot of tips on um, basically how to get them at a very good price, what to look for before you buy them, and things like that. And I've got uh, Obviously I've got this system off now, I, I know where to source a lot of lawnmowers, I could even go to somewhere if I wanted, I could probably pick up around 100 if I wanted in one go, I know, I know the places that you can go and do things like that. So it just depends how much you uh, you want to do, you, you're not limited really, you're only limited by yourself how much time you've got and how much, um, how much effort you want to put in, there's nothing to stop you getting uh, multiple amounts of mowers and uh, repairing these for profit really. So just to share, just to share really some of the... Um, the tips that I've got for picking them up and actually uh, buying as well on eBay. But um, also, I'm going to include on that video, I'm going to do a, like, it's almost like a little masterclass I'm going to do for selling as well. Just to, uh, I see a lot of things on eBay, very good lawnmowers, you know, this benefits you of course when you're buying, but when people are selling, they'll generally list with a really poor photograph. Or they won't, um, they won't list it in the correct category, or there's all sorts of little things that will do it. If you were to do it slightly different, you could, you know, you're adding 50, 60, 70 pounds onto a sale every single time you do it. But if you don't know these things, you, you, you're going to buy them and you're going to repair them, spend a lot of time doing it. If you, if you don't know how to list and sell and where to sell and how to do it correctly, you're actually um, probably not going to make as much profit as you would do on each mower. So. Basically, the idea of the DVD is to give you the complete system that I would use, not for repairing, as I've done on the the previous videos, but actually the whole system I go through when I'm buying um, and selling. Sure, I'm even going to include things like templates you can put in your local uh, post office window, just that you can download off the website, and um, basically print them out and just put your own phone number on, your own prices on, and things like that. I'm going to include all sorts of templates for uh, for buying. For selling, I'm also going to include some templates for um, service stickers, so when you do sell a mower, you can put a service sticker on, and um, you get repeat business that way. That's all going to be included on the DVD. 
I've learned a lot doing this. I've, I've had lots of mistakes and in a way that's some of the best things that have happened are through through mistakes I've learned how to treat customers and things like that and what to do if things go wrong. I'm going to include all that because you can't, you know, I'm hoping to help people sort of jump over a few hurdles with this and, you know, basically skip over the, the problems that I've had so they can get this up and running and really uh, start to get some money coming in, maybe just on a part-time basis to start with, but now is the very, very best time to start. If you want to start picking lawnmowers up to repair for profit, November, December time is an absolute bargain time. If you try and do this in the summer, it's a lot more difficult. You need to climb on board now and get yourself, even if you just get yourself your first mower and it's 40, 50 pounds and give this a go. If you're struggling with it, feel free to send me an email via YouTube or whatever or by the website, it's no problem. I just want people to um, basically get started, especially um, people who are really struggling. Uh, there's a lot of gardeners that struggle uh, a lot of time in the winter times. And I got a lot of emails from them saying how, uh, how it's been great because instead of doing the gardening, they're actually picking up mowers because they've got all sorts of resources and they are repairing these for profit and it's keeping them uh, ticking over in the quieter months of the year. So I have mentioned a million times the DVD is free on the, on the website at the minute if you download the startup guide. You will be uh, emailed a link with a, a passcode on and you can uh, get your free copy of the DVD via the website at repairinglawnmowersforprofit.com. Um, I've had loads and loads of people do that recently and I've had uh, lots of nice comments back as well. So good luck to you, very best of luck at get started. I'm going to tidy you up in here now and get this uh, all tidied up and uh, maybe repair a few mowers and I'm going to start filming this uh, new masterclass on buying and selling for profit. So I hope you all have a good Christmas if I don't see you beforehand. As always, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe, rate or leave a comment. And I'll see you again shortly.